Hi guys, so <clears throat> here's one of my, another one of my improvised weapons, so here we go. I basically took uh, three feet of quarter inch chain that I got from uh, Lowe's and two quick links and I basically got two crescent wrenches. Uh, they're six inch crescent wrenches. They were on sale in the bargains. I think I bought these for like a dollar fifty a piece. Put one on each end, used a quick link to go through the hook and I doubled over the chain so it would be one and a half feet, well, about 18 inches from hook to hook. Uh, so I could have a Manrique Grisari or a 10,000 power chain. There's all kinds of uh, videos on YouTube showing you how to, do, how to use that. I can also show you uh, how I use it later on. Uh, it's also important that this is a three foot chain um, because it'll go into my next flexible we weapon um, that I'll use that uh, spear I'll use parts of it and this and I'll create something that's uh, that's pretty awesome um, so but this will be at the heart so it's important that you guys understand what is at the heart and then you'll be able to understand so stay tuned okay guys so you remember our spear and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take off the warhead, the warhammer head, and the spearhead of this. And I'm going to take off the connector. We'll need that. And the end cap, because we won't need that either. And basically, what I'm going to do. I am going to thread this through. Now I'm going to use the wrench at the end there. I'm going to close the, the other end with this wrench here. So that in essence, what you end up with is a wrench on each side and this big heavy pipe in the middle. So basically what you end up with is a nunchaku flail. And uh, I'm not going to start swinging this around in the house because I'd destroy the house. But uh, imagine the weight of this coming around. Yeah, it's going to have quite a bit of weight behind it, and it's going to have quite a bit of force. And whatever it hits is pretty much going to be destroyed. And this is bigger than, much bigger than the um, Oriental or the Asian Nunchaku. And in fact, uh, this was a type of battlefield weapon that was used very commonly in the European uh, wars and stuff like that in Europe and, and uh, stuff like that because they had large flails or large nunchaku. And uh, so instead of having wood, they would have typically heavy steel and they would use it like this. Um, it's said that these were used for threshing grain and such and such as that. But uh, I'm pretty sure if you got if you hit somebody in the head with this, this probably um, yeah, that's no joke. So anyway, but that is another weapon that you can make just by adding a Manrique Grisari to the spear. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. 
I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.